what's going on everybody welcome back to my youtube channel let's solve this math question that says find the values of x for which x to the x is equal to x squared well our first step will be for us to move x squared to the left hand side so we have x to the x and as x squared crosses to the left and becomes minus x squared very good and this is equal to zero now we all know that x squared divided by x squared is equal to one so that means i'm going to be using this expression to multiply what we have here so this will be x squared all over x squared times x to the x minus x squared and this is equal to zero very good so our next step will be for us to use the denominator to multiply through so that i have x squared as a numerator times now the denominator this will be x to the x multiplied by 1 all over x squared because this is a denominator. So I have x to the x all over x squared. Very good. Minus x squared divided by 1 over x squared. We have x squared over x squared. In close bracket equal to 0. Very good. Now notice that x squared divided by x squared is 1. So I'm going to have x squared times x to the x all over x squared minus 1. Close bracket and this is equal to 0. Very good. Now our next step will be for us to apply the law of indices to what we have here. The law of indices that says when I have a to the m all over a to the n, this can be expressed as a to the m minus n. Very good. So now let's apply this here. So this becomes x squared times this expression will become x to the x minus 2 x minus 2 very good minus 1 equal to 0 so we have two cases here so one of the case is x squared is equal to 0 x squared is equal to 0 and then the other case is x to the x minus 2 minus 1 is equal to 0 and now if we have to solve what we have here, it means we'll take the square root of both sides. So I'll take the square root of x squared in order to get rid of this square equal to plus or minus the square root of zero. Now the square root cancels out the square, leaving behind x to be equal to plus or minus. The square root of zero is zero. So we can clearly see that one solution for x is zero. Now, what about what we have here, which is the second case? Now, we're going to be moving this negative one to the right hand side so that we have x to the x minus two to be equal to as negative one crosses to the right, it becomes one. Very good. Now, since we have an unknown as the exponent, our next step will be for us to take the log of both sides. So I'll take the log of the left hand side, which is x to the x minus 2. This is equal to, I'll take the log of the right hand side, so which is log 1. Very good. Now, our next step will be for us to apply the law of logarithm to what we have on the left hand side the law of logarithm which says when i have the log 
of a to the p this can be expressed as p log a that means this expression just like this can be expressed as x minus 2 log x very good and this is equal to log 1 is equal to 0 very good now notice that we have two cases from here one of the cases is x minus 2 is equal to 0 and the other case is log x equal to 0 now from this first case I can get a solution for x when I move negative 2 to the right hand side so this will become as negative 2 crosses to the right it becomes positive 2 so we see that we have another solution for x now what about what we have here now we're going to be applying a property of logarithm to solve this the property of logarithm that says when I have a log of a number n to the base of b and this is equal to p well from the definition of logarithm this is actually a power to the base that means this number n is equal to the base raised to the power p and looking at our original expression what we are solving the base here is an invisible 10 so we can express this like this so our number here is x and this is equal to the base 10 raised to the power 0 very good so that x will be equal to 10 to the 0 is 1 very good so we have three values for x remember the first value x is equal to 0 now the second value we've got x to be equal to 2 and now the third value we've got x to be equal to 1 so now let's check our solution to see if what we actually have is correct now recall that the given question is x to the x is equal to x squared very good now I'm going to be focusing on the left hand side and the right hand side to see if they will be equal so starting with this x is 0 so this will be 0 to the 0 equal to 0 squared now since I have 0 to the 0 that means this expression is indeterminate it's indeterminate so this is indeterminate that means we're not going to be accepting this now let's go for the second value or solution for x x is equal to 2 so this will be 2 squared or 2 to the 2 because x is equal to 2 and this is equal to 2 to the 2 now look at it the left hand side is 4 the right hand side will also provide 4 so they are equal so I'm going to be accepting this now what about when x is equal to 1 so this will be 1 to the 1 equal to 1 squared now what will be the result 1 to the 1 is 1 and this is equal to 1 squared is also 1 so this is also accepted so we see that the final solution for x is x is let me just use another bracket a curly bracket very good so x is 2 and x is equal to 1 so these two values of x satisfy the equation well feel free to share your ideas in the comment section below and if you enjoyed this video and have learned something from this video go ahead and give this video a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't turn on the notification bell so you don't miss my upcoming videos and like I always say, until next time, take care.